what's up Rock Flock? This is a blast to the past. Um, due to some technical errors, I had to start all over from the beginning in order to get to our current episode. And I decided, why not go ahead and pick up a couple of power-ups that I missed? The first one uh, is right here. You'll remember we visited this room uh, back at the start of the LP. There's the missile tank that I was looking for. So it's right here on this corner. All you gotta do is shoot at it with your uh, standard beam and the wall will obviously break away and you can get your missiles. So there's that missile tank that we was missing. And I'll catch you for one more blast of the past before we continue our regular adventure. What's up, Rock Flock? This is another blast of the past here. Um, you remember the room right after we got fought the charge beam boss? This is hanging here for a reason. Activate your missiles. Shoot away those three. There. And you come into this heavily guarded room. Guarded for a reason, I think. Considering down there at the bottom, if you can see, get another missile tank for us. So uh, when we get back to our adventure, we'll actually have ten more missiles than we normally would have. Uh, so I'll catch you guys hopefully back at the, uh, at the start of the next episode, unless I find something else when I'm just randomly exploring through here. So peace out. Hey, what's up, Rock Flock? This is Rockhawk64. Um, here's one I missed. After we get the high jump, this water room here... See, with the high jump, you can reach this. And then when you head over here, another missile tank. Isn't that nice? So that's one that I missed that I didn't realize that I missed that I found while randomly exploring things. So I'll catch you guys... Hopefully we get the main adventure, unless I find something else while catching up, so peace out, guys. Hey, guys, I'm back with another one. This one I'm going to have to sacrifice some health for, but with the high jump... Jump over that. More missiles. Always a plus. So I'll catch you guys... Whenever I catch you. Hey, what's up, Rockflock? Another blast to the past here. Um, in this room here, before we, after we get the bombs, we can go over here. There's this little ledge here that's, that you can stand on that's blocked by bombable blocks. If we go in there, another missile tank. Alright, I'll catch you guys on the next one or when this episode starts, whichever comes first. What's up, Rockflock? This is the Master Gamer, Rockhawk64, welcoming you back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Um... Due to some technical errors, as you saw, actually at the beginning of the episode, we had some blasts to the past, is what I called them. And each blast to the past provided us with more missiles. So as you can see, we have a little bit more than we did the last episode. Um, I honestly may have missed a few that I got during the regular recording. I'm honestly not sure about that. <clears throat> but at any rate... Uh, we're continuing with our mission here today to, uh, kill Saris. A.K.A. Giant Worm Bitch Dragon Thingy. Son of a bitch, 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 Come on, die. No, it's actually not required for me to kill all these monsters, and... But, you know, it is nice to have some power-ups and keep everything up. You know, like your missiles and your health and all that. So, now you may be asking, what's he going up here for? Well, guys, there's an energy tank up here we can get. And who doesn't love extra health? Um... As I've stated before, this is not going to be a 100% run. But at the same time, I'm going to uh, get what power-ups I can to make my life easier, with a particular emphasis on energy tanks. So I don't know about you guys, but I always love me some more health. You know what I always wanted to do as a kid? I always wanted a suit. Oh. 
Po I, you know what? And you know, you know what? Why, why say when I'm a kid? I, I'll admit it. I still want it now. I still want a power suit like Samus has. <clears throat> I mean, cause think of all the neat and useful things you could do with it. Damn it! Damn you! Yeah, I mean, wouldn't that be awesome to have a Chozo power suit like that? Like a real one that actually like fired beams and stuff. I know it's never gonna happen, but a guy can dream, can't he? You know what? Forget it. I can dream. This is America, goddammit. Damn you, fish! Damn you! Ha! UX will never get the best of me. Even if I forget to activate my missiles. Which, by the way, I realized I haven't done that since I started recording this again, so... In old-fashioned tradition, FIRE THE MISSILES! THE MISSILES. We're gonna go up here for a quick power-up stop. I have no clue why, my, why I fired missiles instead of just repeatedly blasting with the beam, but... Oh, lag, why must you bother me? So I hope the game isn't lagging during the recording. Um, if it is, I apologize, but yeah, there was a bit of a lag here. Oop. Go, 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 go. Through here. They should practically have a giant neon sign. To Saris. Up here. To the giant water dragon bitch. That's my name for her. I don't even know if it's a she, but if it is... She's a giant water dragon bitch. This boss is one of the most frustrating bosses in the game. And you know, of course, that's all just my personal opinion. Even though up until recently that I played it again, I did have a, spot, a few spots of issues with Ridley. But spoiler, Ridley's gonna show up like he does in every Metroid game. Grab that quick save here, just in case. <laughs> and blast this, because if I die, I don't want to have to go through all that again. Alright, guys, let's go face Saris. Come on, let's go kick some dragon bitch at... Um, we have an issue. I don't think this is supposed to be a skeleton... Adam, we have an issue. <laughs> you fucked up again. God damn it. This is why I said in an earlier episode never trust computers. Plus, they're playing that creepy ominous music, which tells me this is not good. And there's the boss eye over there, because I'm going to start calling those things. This one gets tricky. You have to be all the way over here and jump as soon as you see it flashing. Because the way water slows Samus down, that's the best way to ensure that you're going to dodge the shot. And of course, I mean, you can slightly delay some son of a bitch. But for the most part, that happens if you miss. So. Ugh, God damn it! Finally! Okay, Red X restores everything. Alright guys, welcome to the room where we actually fight giant water dragon bitch. And I'm gonna get over here to my usual platform. Damn it! And apparently get blasted in the face. Yeah, Saras has set patterns. And... Now it always randomizes the patterns, but after it moves one way, you will see that it will typically move the. It will typically initiate a second movement pattern. And of course, striking it causes her to use that ability, which. Damn it! As you've seen, it is both hard to dodge and hurts a lot. So, damn it! <laughs> the missile just bounced right off. I believe it's five missile shots that does Sarah send before we get to fight for that stage. And honestly, I'm not sure which is harder, this stage or the next one, because you know, water movement—you can't just go underwater and do easy dodging on that. Come on, Saris, get to where I can blast you in the face with the missiles! 
Oh yeah! Now we're cooking. Right here on the corner edge, typically your safest spot. I mean, if you do it obviously from the other end, the other corner edge, the safest spot again. Damn it! This is bad! No, water is not my friend! Even though you do get to see some insights to Saris' movement that you wouldn't normally forget. Damn it! No! <laughs> I was facing the wrong way! No! Damn it! Too late! You little water dragon bitch, I'm gonna kick your ass! Just drop right back down. Yeah, whenever Saris does the little ziggy zaggy thing like that, drop down. That's a good thing I stayed up there. Damn it. Has Saris always been black, or am I just not noticing this? No, this is not a racist joke, I'm serious. Has Saris always been that vivid black color? Time to kick some X ass! Core X time! And these platforms make dodging it very, very difficult. You don't want to wind up in the water where the X's movement is not affected, but yours is! Oh, I did it without dying. We got the speed booster power regain. We run until the speed boost begins. And so we're actually going to get to see some of it in action, right here. But a little bit more so, right here. Obviously, as you can see those arrows, We up until this point, if you've noticed them somewhere else, I'm honestly not sure, I obviously don't have a photographic memory and can't recall every episode. But those arrows, we now had no way of destroying those blocks until now. Yeah, that's right, those are speed booster blocks. Uh, let's get a couple of power-ups. Who's up for some power-ups? I know I am. First one's right here. Very hard to miss. Bomb there. Zimissiles! Next one is through here. Two missile shots does that in. Damn it. And then that section of the wall right there, blast away with just a simple beam shot, another missile tank. Ho oh, ho ho, but we're not done yet, folks. If anything, we've only just begun. But you see, now there's something, now that we can get the speed booster, we can do what we have to do in order to leave Sector 4 AQA. Damn it. Thanks for the health, though, Mr. X. Mr. X, no here. Yep, little Consuela for you guys. Mr. X, no here. Um, so who's, take, who's taking a look at my... Who's uh, been keeping an eye on the channel and seeing that I have 28 subs? Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Damn it! Um, anyways. Step on this console. Water level lowered. Alright. And look what we can get. The missile gods are visiting us today. How did I get out of there? That's right, we've lowered the water level, so... Now we can leave this place. Uh, down there is just a level 4 security hatch. Okay, we're going to take the shortcut. <clears throat> There's a shortcut here. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you something that you can do. Get your speed boost build up, duck, jump, and pick a direction for Samus to fly in, and she'll do that little boosty jumpy thingy, which is always great. 
another reason why I took that why I took this route. It's a direct shortcut to another missile tank. Z missiles, they shall love me. Well, let's get out of here, and you're gonna see another neat little thing the speed booster does. Let's say there's some enemies in our way, like those. Ain't our way no more. You know, taking the long way actually lengthened the actually lengthened the this episode quite a bit, but we're still gonna go ahead and call this an episode. Even though we've only been recording for about 12 minutes. So this has been quite a ride. We killed the dragon water bitch, we can now run fast. Kinda reminds me of Sonic, gotta go fast, gotta go faster, 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 Sonic X. Yeah, I watched a lot of four kids when I was younger. Don't judge me. Um, hoo ha do you do? Do I wanna go on? And I could reasonably get our next mission. But I'll leave you guys in suspense. So guys, this has been Rockhawk64, along with everyone's favorite bounty hunter, Samus Aran. This has been Let's Play Metroid Fusion, guys. And just remember to have fun with life and enjoy it too. I will catch you all on the next episode. Peace out.